Oh, look who it is! Remember them? You know what I want, Belafet. Release him! You make a mockery of your uncle's sacrifice in coming here, Azimar. But I will grant you your despair. After our Hello, Belafet. Welcome. You're just in time to witness the fall of Kalar Archer. What's going on here, Kalar? Damn you, Heffernan! It was your treachery that brought me to this. My treachery and your arrogance, shining lady. This is the secret of Kalar's crusade. There is only one soul in Avernus Kalar has ever cared for. Her uncle on Argent. The man who sacrificed all to save her. Is this true, Kayla? No. No. If I could have freed the Dragon Spear dead, I would have. But you could not. No one could. And in your heart of hearts, you knew that. So long I was trapped here, unable to reach the material plane. And then this child walked willingly. Blindly into my domain. No mere mortal either, but an Azimar and an Argent and mine. All mine. I know not what lies brought Kayla here, Belafet, and I care not. The fiend behind the crusade stands revealed, and you will pay for the Sword Coast's suffering. You dare challenge the great Belafet. Here, in his place of power! I do not do it alone. Kayla, join me! Let Belafet's death be the first stepping stone on your path to redemption! I hope you listen to me. After everything I've done, you would have me at your side? Of course! So be it. The Child of Baal and the Shining Lady will stand together against this devil's darkness. I hope so. You are as arrogant as my mistress. You will share her fate. Right! Time to put those plus three arrows to use. Because no other arrows are going to work against Belafat. Time for you to equip this sword, because no other sword is going to work. Time for us to be a massive distraction as a sword spider. Yes. The first thing we need to do is kill Hefanan. Hefanan is I'm a big, big problem. Hefanan needs to die. Right now. Absolutely right now. So let's make that happen. Yeah? You need to summon some help. You call? You need to do this. We don't have control of Kayla. I believe what? if uh, we'd had an empty party slot, Kayla would have joined us, but we don't. Right. Right, you're going to summon some creatures that you are. Right. Let's have you have at thee. You're petrified. This is a little bit bad, but not the worst thing in the world. Right, you're going to fight. We need to provide a nice distraction. Um, Hefanan is invisible. You are dire charmed. Yeah, this isn't great. But we'll see how we do. Okay. Uh, you can shoot. That is a thing you can do. There's also going to be a lot of fire and a lot of problems, and Hefanan is even the minor issue here, because Belafet is the big issue. Belafet is the big issue. Um, I mean, we're not dead. Go ahead. Um, we're not dead yet. Uh, what am I doing? I am attacking. Things. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of uh, damage we're taking. You are just dancing. You can't do anything. Okay. You're there. This is fine. Is Heaven at Heaven? I cannot already be dead. 
That would be very unlikely. Okay, you can drink a potion. That's fine. Uh, we can have you drink a potion too. Okay, you're still going. Fairly injured though, you are taking damage. Corwin is dealing damage to Belafet. 11 damage, or 12 damage with 11 resistance. I'm a ranger. I really kind of want you to stop range. panicking, but you're just going to keep panicking. This is a thing. Alright, we need you to drink a bigger potion. I can't give you these potions, but I can give you these potions to drink. I'm doing everything you ask. I know you are. Push me. I know you are. I know. Right, I need you to move over here. Get out the way. Oh, Belafet is already injured. That's a plus. All right, keep going. Are you chasing McKin? I mean, if you want to keep chasing McKin, by all means, keep chasing McKin. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, drink that. Run. Okay, you are partially visible. Uh, Kalar is just still fighting. This is good. Um, are you? You're still not back. Okay. Bit of a problem. But you have now got distracted, okay, that is fine. Um, move aside, everyone. Stay out of that radius of, of fire and death. Keep shooting. And the archer, little goblin archer there is helping too. Uh, drink this potion if you can. If you can. Oh, you're back. Excellent. And you're back. Okay. Right, you're back as well. Uh, magic missile? Might help. Oh, that that's a bit of a problem. Alright, let's see what we can do. Heffernan might very much be dead. I don't see Heffernan casting any spells at all. Then again, Heffernan might be the one casting all these things. Right. Um, I need... You're making more things. Alright, I need you to do this. And we'll get more shots in. Okay, you have been... Oh, that that's not good. That's not good. Right. I need you to... Oh, you're probably going to die. Oh, no. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Okay. Probably dead now. Well, unfortunate. But not a lot we can do there. Okay! Minsk is down. We can bring him back, don't worry. Later. Only death could ever separate thou and I. Indeed. Right. Let's fire some more magic missiles. We're dealing with... Fun fact is we're dealing with Heffernan in much the same way as we dealt with Heffernan the first time round. Which is with... Uh, with archery. Yes. All right, yes. that's a lightning bolt. Okay, drink this potion. Um, okay, that thing is dead. We need to. That's a lot of fire. Oh no, no! You're here. You're here. That's a little bad. Okay. The good news is, as long as you're chasing there, you're not attacking anyone else. This is very similar to how that first fight with uh, Belafet and Icewind Dale went down. Also, fun fact, if Belafet dies here, they're doomed. They're gone. They're just no more. Their substance will just blend back into the plane. By the way, you're nearly dead, Belafet. You're nearly dead. Yeah, you're summoning friends. This ain't gonna help you. How may I be of assistance? This isn't gonna help you at all. It shall be you could try and fight. Oh, um, she's in a bit of trouble. Um, maybe we can do something about that. I don't think we can. But we've nearly got you. Oh, you're quaffing more potions. Fantastic. Uh, there you are. There you are. Do I have another court shot? I do. Okay. Oh no, don't kill Dinah here as well. Uh, hi! Potion, please! Get some shots off. Oh, you're currently invisible. Oh! And that's it. 
Elephant's dead! After all this time, this cannot be the end. This cannot be. Oh, it can be. Archery slew you again. Again. We'll bring you back, Minx, don't worry. What? Actually, we can. We bring you back now. Do we have a scroll that could bring you back? Uh, do we have a raised dead scroll anywhere? We might. Uh, we do not. Okay. Do do you have it prepared? No. We'll bring you back, Minx. Don't worry. There's a reunion. Everything I did, every sacrifice I made, all to reach this moment. You are free at last, Uncle. At what cost? I know not what you did to make this happen, Kayla. Whatever it was, the cost was too great. You have no idea how right you are. I sacrificed myself to ensure my niece never saw this place again. You knew my wishes, Kayla. Why did you defy them? Do you think so little of me, Uncle? Did you truly believe I would leave you to rot in the Devil's Claws? I expected my niece to honor her uncle's wishes. How long has it been since we last spoke, Kayla? Have you learned nothing in all those years? I'm pretty sure she's learned quite a bit in the past few hours. We all learned much in that time, I think. More than I ever wanted to know. I knew no happiness in my ignorance, yet the misery I felt while convinced I trod a righteous path was nothing compared to the guilt I must carry now. I was brought up in the Order of the Aster. My Asimar heritage and the Argent name assured me a place of honor as a paladin of the Morning Lord. Or so I thought at the time. I had such confidence then, such certainty of purpose. I knew I would rise to greatness. Knew it in my bones. And that arrogance and pride was your undoing. All that barred my ascent were my superiors in the Order. They sought to teach me humility. I see that now. But I could not bring myself to bow to their authority. To any authority but Lathander's. Perhaps not even his. I was told to watch over the library. To guard the volumes within. For they held knowledge critical to the Order's success in the battle against darkness. I coveted that knowledge. In my arrogance, I read aloud from the pages, not understanding the forces I was invoking. That was how a girl not yet ten years old found herself in this pit, in that cage. Yet you escaped its bars. You must have. I was freed, yes. But the cost... It was too much to bear. I couldn't do it, Uncle. Forgive me. I just... I couldn't. Orn offered himself to Belafet in your place. All I could do was offer another soul in trade. One without the stain of arrogance. One that was of the Argent line. Of a paladin at the height of his powers. I made this sacrifice hoping that Kayla might someday find redemption for her sins. But she is here before me. And I now know... She chose another path. A heavy toll was paid by me and those who followed me. A heavier one still was exacted from those who stood in my path. Am I without regret? No. Would I do it again? Without hesitation. Then you have learned nothing. Retribution is all that is left. You will return to the Material Plane, close the portal to Avernus, and stand trial for your crimes. I am an Argent. I hold myself to the highest standard. I know I did evil, though I did it in pursuit of good. I must answer for my crimes. Every second we stand here talking, more devils make their way into Dragonspear. I don't mind talking, but the standing's at an end. Let's go. Indeed. Divine blood was the key to opening Dragonspear's portal to Avernus. Yep. The blood of a powerful devil. Lock it once again. Better that.
Here, take this key. It will open the Dragon Spear Vault. I'll not be returning to Toro. Don't worry, we put Minsk uh, in the bag of holding for now. We'll bring him back later. What? No, Kayla. I'll not allow it. She is the one who brought you to this place, Arn Argent. She is the one who has nearly unleashed the hordes of Belafet upon Toral. I can think of no more fitting punishment than her spending what remains of her life in this foul pit. The rift twixt the plains was opened by me. Not by my hand, but I am responsible nonetheless. I can do nothing to change the past. What future I have is here, in this place. That was true from the moment I first summoned Belafet. Uncle, please, go now, before Avernus's legions overtake us. Do what you can to redeem the Argent name of the shame I brought upon it, I beg you. I... May Lathander's light shine upon you, child. You need all the light you can get. It's over, Terry Coleman. Let's go. And in we go. Goodbye, Kayla. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Really gonna need it. It's done. Thank the gods. The rift twixt the worlds is closed. I went to Avernus and came back. I really did. And nobody who wasn't here will e Hill holes closed. That's good. Still trapped, though. That's not so good. Hey, you're here, Darius. Right, can we now... Can we now uh -huh. learn... Can we now cast this... Oh, we, we, we literally cannot cast that spell. Okay. Trouble. Not, not, not that Hurry. great. I don't want to do you to be able to cast that spell, mm -hmm. but I'm sure yeah, Minx will be fine. We'll, we'll bring Minx back, it'll be fine. Hello? Hold your fire! Everyone, hold your fire! It's me! It's good to see you. What happened? The vault to Avernus is closed. And what of our shining lady? Tors and Delancey of Waterdeep, let me introduce you to Arn Argent, Knight of the Order of the Aster. I'll let him tell you what's happened to Kayla. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Master Argent. I wish it were under different circumstances. If there is anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know. That? I'm sure he has a lot he wants to know. Our forces are sweeping the castle now, checking for traps or pockets of resistance. The surviving crusaders have either fled or surrendered. The siege is ended, as is the threat of the Nine Hells. I believe the time has come to celebrate. Indeed. 